Hey, what's going on guys? Kumanki in the Euro last video we ended up uh, rendering dynamically a single tetromino and one thing I forgot to do in the previous video is to show you and to emphasize one extra time that if we just bring the board uh, which would bring the internal uh, board data structure you see like um, you see like here uh, we have this red uh, this tetromino's marked red are those settled down already so they are currently the part of the board of the Tetris board while this one is green so I mark it green just to distinguish between this these two guys so just to give it a, a different color in the game it would have exactly the same color but for now we just want it uh, to be different and it's not available here because uh, it's just uh, it kind of rendered onto uh, into the GUI and it's not the part of, of the board so just wanted to give you uh, an extra emphasis on this uh, on this on this moment on this particular thing because it's really important and uh, in this video the topic of this video is how to rotate this tetrominos because we want not only to move them but also to rotate and uh, the, the particular technique I'm gonna be relying on in this video is taken from one lone coder coders video uh, programming Tetris in command line so he's using a fantastic uh, indexing method that allows to have a single uh, a single setup like a single piece for every tetromino and then just using a specific formulas sp just a bit of a math to reference uh, these elements in a slightly different way allows to mimic the rotation so literally the data uh, the data is still static but because of different indexing we have uh, a different image rendered into our GUI so in this video we'll write a function to rotate a single tetromino now um, another uh, another variable uh, to include here let's call it current shape and by saying shape uh, it's what it would be let's start from zero so the shape is uh, the rotation angle, sort of rotation angle. So like like this, like this, like this, or like so. Zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. So those are mm, the angles for corresponding shapes. All right, so currently what we do when we uh, try to draw the tetromino, we use uh, the default uh, default sort of a thing here so we don't want this anymore and instead here uh, I want to say rotate uh, rotate the tromino and it would be taken uh, the column the row and the shape the shape that we're interested in all right so now mm, let's create a function to rotate rotate to tromino and function rotate to tromino like this so the argument goes first um, so let's just just for simplicity let's call them x y and shape because yeah because these are might no longer be rows and columns so they they might kind of shoot so let's just call them x and x and y instead of column row and row All right so um now we want to pick up uh, a given shape and i'm going to be using the switch case statement for this purpose so switch the shape and um actually here yes not the shape like this here I want to pass the current shape that we've just defined up there so current shape is now equal to zero it, it also might take the value of zero one two three so four four values for that for every single uh, kind of angle so this current shape um, and it's taken here so here we have uh, let's say zero degrees here we have 90 degrees here we have 180 degrees and here we have uh, no, 
not so fast. 270 degrees. And let's make it like so. So case zero and break and copy paste so here this shape integer 0 1 2 3 is going to represent a certain rotation of our given of our given index so the very first one the the initial one like no rotation we can simply say return and y multiplied by uh, four uh, we have a constant for that let me quickly see tetromino size so multiply by the tetromino size plus x so that's the one that's the one that, that we have been using already here as the precoded constant that I've grabbed from there. Um, the next one is uh, 12 plus, so I'm just, I'm just using the formula I've taken from one loan coder. So I didn't come up with this one on my own. X multiplied by the, by the tetromino size. So this is how this one looks for 90 degrees here we have 15 so this are just to remember to reuse so as, as long as the size of the tetromino matrix remains the same this is going to work in minus x all right in here I want to return 3 minus y plus x multiplied by the tetromino size so i really hope uh, i didn't mess up anything and now we'll check that out so um let's consider let's consider the following i'm just wondering yeah um so the first uh, what's the current shape? So the, the current, let's start with the current tetromino zero and current shape zero. All right. Uh, update. So do I have an error here? Nope. Oh, that's because part, part three. I need to go to part four. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a sec. Why do I have this entire one? Uh, this is a little bit strange. This is a little bit strange. So, yeah, um, yeah, for some reason I'm printing all the squares. Okay. Oh my god, guys, what an idiot I am. I just put this brakes for some reason, and I'm wondering why it doesn't work, because it just doesn't return any value from. So yeah, now hopefully this should be working. Um, yeah, okay, so we got, yeah, let's drop back. Yeah, I'm really sorry for this. I don't know, I just, <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I do this uh, switch case statement, I just put those, those brakes uh, automatically. Uh, but we don't need any breaks here. We just return the value instantly. That's pretty much all about it. Okay um, So where are the variables? Um, let's start with this one and Update so we got this block and now no matter which uh, So this should be 90 degrees, but it shouldn't change. All right doesn't change because it's square doesn't change and doesn't change the, the reason why i'm sorry uh, why i'm checking for this because if uh it's shifted to the left to the right or somewhere it then may have some issues like being malformed a little bit so that's the reason why I ch check that so now mm, the next tetromino is this one all right so 90 degrees 
Okay, 90 degrees works. We don't need the rest for this guy. Uh, it still works, but we're not going to be using that because it might be a little bit confusing when you're playing. So I'm not going to be using this uh, 2 and 3 for uh, the shapes that has only two, uh, two rotation states, like uh, 0 and 90 degrees. This one, this one, this one, this one, this first four, and that's the reason, by the way, why we put them in like in, at first. So when it comes to the logic of uh, manipulating them while the user input, we're just uh, gonna be ignoring uh, increasing the uh, current shape uh, angle uh, if we have the certain type, the certain index uh, of the tetrominoes. So same goes for same goes. Let's go for this one so here i just need the first and the second one yeah it works good then this one goes to the other side facing the other direction right then four okay and this is going to be uh this is not going to be interesting because this ha this can rotate to uh like 0, 19, 180, and 270. So let's go. So we have <coughs> 90 degrees. Uh, we have, uh, I, I believe, 100, 180 degrees. And we have 270 degrees. Yeah, so we just make this clockwise rotation. Now, uh, uh, when, I was, when I was a kid, I was wondering why one Tetris, is, like one, uh, Tetris implementation was rotating clockwise and other was rotating counterclockwise well uh if you reassign the values for uh for these numbers so let's say uh case zero is going to be this one then case one is going to be this one then case two is uh, like this one so if you just uh shift the order to the opposite in this case uh so that's the reason why I specified the degrees here. So if you want, uh, if you want to start rotating like counterclockwise instead of uh, here, yeah. So actually, instead of instead of this line, you need to put this this line here, and then j just to make sure that the order of uh, these degrees matches to the exact way how you want the tetrominoes to rotate, and you can even provide your custom order. But I prefer the classical old school uh, clockwise rotation. So that's the reason why I have this. This exact order. All right. Um, so the next tetromino is this one, and it should be okay. Ninety degrees. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Um, oh, guys. Thank you. Oh, it's, by the way, oh, by the way, this is uh, an amazing Canadian, I believe, rock band can, uh, that is mm, formed by a family, uh, mother, father, and the daughter uh and yeah still 18 highly recommend the fant fantastic alternative rock okay so it they didn't pay me i just i just love their music they didn't pay me really okay so to trim of five uh go in for a year go in for a year go in for yeah back and to trim in six the very last one is this okay all right so 90 degrees okay uh 180 degrees all right and 270 degrees and here we go so yeah rotation kind of works and this is really cool so yeah guys um i believe this is it from my side in regards to this video for a list and in the next one i think we can already start thinking about the user input to uh give user an option actually to move the piece around the tetris board and also to rotate uh to rotate the tetromino i think yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be the topic of the next one so yeah this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care